Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy. Today I'm going to make a new video on sarcoidosis. It's another medically important disease all over the world. Actually, it's a inflammatory non-caseous granulomatous multi-system disease and it can affect mainly the respiratory system, CNS, MSK and heart. So those are the main, main system which sarcoidosis affects. So it is common in second to fourth decades of life. You can uh, diagnose, is, diagnose the disease by identifying or measuring elevated serum angiotensin converting enzyme levels or serum calcium levels. So calcium levels will be higher in sarcoidosis. So according to chest x-rays, we can stage the disease. So there are five stages. Stage zero means normal chest x-ray. So people can present at any stage. Stage one means there's hyla and media sternal lymphadenopathy. Stage two there's hyla and media sternal lymphadenopathy plus parenchymal disease. Then the stage three is lung parenchymal disease only. There is no associated lymphadenopathy. Then the stage four is the most severe disease. There's ingested fibrosis. So let's look at the main thing. It is imaging features. First. I'm going to discuss chest x-rays. So this is the frontal radi chest radiograph of skater mature patient. Here you can see here you can see opacity or lobular opacifications in the hyalur regions. Yes, there's no significant par paratracheal involvement, but you can see the lobular masses in the hyalur regions. So there's hyalur lymphadenopathy bilaterally and lung parenchymas are relatively spared no pleural effusions in this patient so when there's involvement in the paratracheal stripe mainly the right paratracheal stripe you call it one two three sign so differential diagnosis for high line media cell lymphadenopathy is uh, apart from sarcoidosis lymphoma tb and lymph node metastasis from other primaries like thyroid ca so this that was stage one disease next let's move to stage two disease so it's again a frontal chest radiograph you can see hyla masses with lobulated outline so there's hyla lymphadenopathy and also you can see the involvement of lung bases there are reticular type opacifications so there's hyla lymphadenopathy plus lung parenchymal disease so mainly there are reticular nodular opacifications but in this case there's mainly reticular opacifications so this is stage 2 disease so the upper lobes are relatively spared in the stage 3 disease there's only parenchymal changes here you can see multiple nodules here there are multiple nodules 0.5 to 2 millimeters it's kind of a miliary nodules of tissue density so another differential diagnosis for million nodules is TB apart from sarcoidosis. TB is the commonest disease in when you consider lung diseases. So this is multiple mirial nodules you can see. Reticular markings are not marked. So basically there are multiple mirial nodules. So this is parenchymal disease. This is only no hyalur lymphadenopathy, no pleural effusions, no fibrotic changes. This is in stage disease. You can see multiple fibrotic areas in the upper and middle zones. And you can see dilated bronchi. You can see dilated bronchi. So there are reticular type opacifications like to represent fibrosis. There's reduction in lung volumes bilaterally. You can see. So sometimes there's cavity formation, which is rare. So next thing, the thing is feature of sarcoidosis excel calcifications you can see excel calcifications in the higher regions so there's peripheral calcifications of lymph nodes you can see here there are fibrotic changes also and some 
reticular pacifications. These are some differential diagnoses for eggshell calcification, silicosis, cold workers pneumoconiosis, treated lymphoma and histoplasmosis. So it's also another important thing in sarcoidosis. Then next the CT chest, CT findings, this is the lung window in the chest, you can see airspace opacifications and some few nodules you can see nodule opacities and some interlobular septal thickenings you can see subtle so there's airspace opacifications and nodules so it's kind of alveolar sarcoidosis some yes very small nodules are there it's another patient it's, it's, these are the upper zones here these are lower zones you can see multiple dilated bronchi with you can see dilated bronchi and bronchioles both are dilated and there are fibrotic changes interlobular septal thickenings are there here few nodules are there you can see nodules and interlobular septal thickenings it's kind of a late stage stage 4 this is this one so fibrotic changes are there and traction bronchiectasis is another example here you can see dilated bronchi and also honeycomb appearance they are due to interlobular septal thickening so it's fibrotic changes this is the lung window you can see the lung window this is the lung window this is the mediastinal window contrast and ct you can see lymphadenopathy here so it's so there's involvement of lymph nodes plus lungs both are involved so next one is MRI brain uh, there's another system is central nervous system which can affected by sarcoidosis you can see basal meningeal enhancement here basal meninges are enhancing here also basal meningeal enhancement is there it's another feature lep leptomeningeal enhancement cranial nerves are also can get affected and they are they will be thickened mainly the optic and facial nerves and also lump parenchyma uh, and also the brain parenchyma lesions can also there and orbital involvement can also be there mainly the lacrimal gland the last thing is cardiac MRI this is uh, black uh, black bud let's see the cardiac manifestations of sarcoidosis yeah this is the black blood image axial section in contrast in images so you can see some enhancement here in the left ventricular septum mainly the interventricular septum and left ventricular muscles usually there's uh, mid wall and epicardial enhancement so there's mainly the anterior wall and septal enhancement in this case in the in the left ventricle so usually you see the basal enhancement in the ventricular wall in cardiac sarcoidosis due to fibrosis next thing is another commonly affected one is uh, hands you can see this is the uh, dosi palm view of both hands in a skeletal mature patient you can see some uh, lace like trabecular patterns in the bone so it's uh, bone marrow changes in the bone so it's also a feature of sarcoidosis lace like trabecular pattern joints are relatively spared and some areas of redu reduced bone density you can see some sometimes there's cyst formation so that concludes sarcoidosis in radiology made dc series please subscribe our youtube channel then you'll get notifications of our new videos and also comment on our videos thank you Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.